Hello guys. So my name is Jessica and I just wanted to share a Dollar Tree haul I had today. I got some really cute things and I just wanted to share them because I thought it might inspire other people to go out there and get the good deals and stuff for DIY and just in general really good things for around the house. Now this guy here, really cute little hanger and it comes with the months and then you can change the date and it says shine bright. It's really cute design and all but I have an idea where I wanted to change this to, um, I might um, Mod Podge some scrapbook paper, scrapbook paper on the back, and I might change this to like a countdown Christmas calendar, or maybe just anything else. I know I would likely change this because although it's very cutesy, um, I think I want to change it to something a little more, uh, maybe even farmhouse, so it's good all time of year, or to like a Christmas countdown calendar like I was thinking originally. Um, but still super cute. A lot of potential here. Um, and there is that, in case you want to look it up for your store. And then they have a lot of these really great organization baskets. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them in four different sizes. Um, and the design is really cute. Let me show you here. Oh, it's one hand. It's not easy. There we go. So... This is the first time I've ever seen these in my Dollar Tree. Stylish multi-use case. So you can kind of see an idea. They have a document sized one, which I got two of those. I did not get this little pencil holder guy. Or wait, yeah, no, that looks taller than what I got. Um, but yeah, these are really cute design. And I'm gonna use them to organize my drawers or something in the kitchen. I will find a use because I love organizing with these containers and they're super cute. Here's the other ones, just so you can see. Um, and that's more to come in my haul. So anyhow, those baskets are great. And then these. So this was kind of an impulse buy. You know, it's one of those things I didn't go in there for, but I saw the whole set and I had to do it. Um, so we have Monsters Inc. Mike, Roz. Sully, and there's two more, uh, Randall, God, it makes me want to watch this movie, it's such a cute movie, and Boo, and I believe that is the whole set, I honestly can't think of any of the very main characters they're forgetting here, but if anything, that's, that's a good set, and what I'm gonna do with these, I mean, if I made cakes or something, or I had a kid, I mean, they're good, good toys or cake toppers, but... What I like to do with things like this, even though it has a stand, I may just leave the stand on or I might see how easy it is to take them off the stand, but I just glue, hot glue, or I could put an eyelet or something on the back of them and they become Christmas ornaments. And they're the cutest and they're the perfect size. So like, here it is in my hand. It's pretty small, but that'll look adorable on a Christmas tree. So I got all one, two, three, four, five of those. Hopefully you can find the whole set in yours if you would like to do something similar or, you know, gather them as toys for your child. So that was one other thing I got. And these, I've never seen name brand Barbie stuff at my Dollar Trees. But I don't really even collect Barbies, but I could not pass these up. I mean, the like nine-year-old in me screaming, like if only. <laughs> the shoes, the headbands and glasses. The handbags, like for real, these are awesome. A dollar each, had to get them. Maybe they'll just become a nice uh, Christmas present to uh, one of those giving trees during the holiday. I don't know, who knows, but I had to get them. I only did get one of each, they did have a couple. Um, and then I also got a minion, same purpose, I'm going to turn them into an ornament. There wasn't any more of this set there, so I only got him. But anyhow, that's all of those types of things. Let's move on to some other goodies. Oh, so I really like this game called Overwatch. And they had a couple of these blind sticker packages that I was able to find just kind of strewn about in the aisles. So I only found these two and I had to grab them because I love this game and I love stickers and I put them on my, you know, Hydro Flask or wherever. But um, there were, what were there, five stickers in each pack, and I got some really cute ones. Really, really cute ones. So there's like Sombra, May, Mercy, the Rip Tire for Junkrat. 
I don't know who this is. I don't think it's Widow. I'm not sure who that's for. Um, I think that's Zarya. A duplicate of Mercy. And then Hog. So some really cute stickers. And for a dollar each pack, that was definitely worthwhile. Um, whether I'll find those again, I don't know, but I would pick them up again if I do. All right, moving right along. Um, oh, yeah, these air fresheners. I saw another YouTube video where the gal said these are a great deal, and she's right. Um, they came up as $2 and some odd change, I can't remember, at Walmart. And just as a tip, if you get the Walmart app on your phone, you are able to scan using the barcodes here. You just bring up the barcode scanner out on the Walmart app and you're able to scan it. It'll give you the price of how much it's going for at Walmart. And that's how I found out that this one is for sure going for two and change at Walmart. So getting two of them for a buck was a great deal. So I got two of these. I got one in this scent and one that I can't locate right now. Oh, it might be over here. Oh, I don't know where it went off to, but it was in like a, a clean linen scent. It was like a blue packaging. Uh, but they smell amazing. The gal that I was watching on the video, her tips were to use it on your trash can, on you know the side of your toilet. I mean, they're pretty small, discreet. They look clean and white, no like bold and obnoxious you know designs on them. Here's one that I opened, Oops. and you just wow, I just cannot hold it. You just twist it open, and it just smells glorious. And there's the little stick that you put it on, like the trash can with. I like the trash can idea in the bathroom would be great too. Um, so let's see, move along. And here's more of those baskets. I'm just bringing the whole thing up here because that's what stuff is sitting in. This was an amazing deal. So I don't know if you've ever had the experience, but tooth pain is the worst pain. And thankfully I've been pretty lucky recently. My mom actually just had to, uh, to deal with a, a pretty bad, um, issue where one of her caps came off and I had to order her through the um, pickup order through Walmart one of these types of things to get the cap back on until she could get into her dentist and that was probably six to nine bucks if I can remember correctly now when I scanned this on Walmart using the barcode it came up as five dollars and change and I got one two three four of these for a dollar each and it says it can do five repairs and that's amazing. So I'm going to keep two and I'm going to give two to my mom in case she ever has any issues again. She has it on hand. Um, and then yeah, here just to show if I can. Oh, they won't come apart. Well, you can kind of see. That was another one of the sizes. A little smaller. Okay, so this. Oh my gosh. I was so excited about these. Like I go into Dollar Tree for DIY, right? I think a lot of people do. They go in there to get stuff for crafting. But this is one of the things, one of the very few things that I've ever seen in there where I was perfectly happy with how they are. I could embellish it if I wanted to in some way, but they did it so perfect and it's like they're listening. They know what we like. <laughs> They've been seeing people's crafts and they're like, let's do this. It'll sell like hotcakes. And I'm telling you, I'm just getting them set up for you here. There we go. Look at how cute these are. This one says love with a little bit of twine and these are blocks of wood and they're thick so they're standing up really really well and on the back green briar and then home I love that they put the little bead on the twine and then gather I really love these I got two sets um, whether I'll give one to my mother or maybe I'll actually DIY the other set because I do just like the look of the houses. Um, like I can honestly, this looks very Target-esque to me. Like going to the Target, um, what do they call it? Like the Dollar Zone, I can't remember. Something playground. Um, this looks like something you would get out of there for like three to five bucks. And these are from Dollar Tree for a dollar. I, I love these and the value is amazing. So I, I can't rave about those enough. I was just so shocked to see something so dang cute that I wouldn't even really have to do anything with. I would just set them up and be happy with it. Okay, so I also bought two of these big bins and they worked out really well to function as basically my bag for my stuff. I plan on maybe using those in, um, whoops, in the laundry room. But I bought two 
of these cotton picks. I'm not sure exactly where I'll put these yet, but I really like the look for fall with fall coming up. Those would be cute on display somewhere in my living room. And here's that other set. I'll go ahead and put to the side. We've already seen those. I'll make sure to get one of each again. Love, gather home. Okay. There's this cute vase. I saw somebody other in another video that was showing their haul. I They got all the different colors and everything, and I just got this white cream one. It's a really neat, cute vase to put one really beautiful flower in for a statement on a shelf, so I, I, I had to get it. It looks really cute. This, again, is something I think you would see at Target, and it'd be like $9 or something like that. Maybe another dollar spot thing. I've seen vases in their dollar spot before. I'm running out of room to set things. Let me put this over here. Okay. Now, I love these notebooks. I use them all the time. I use them to write down my passwords. I use them to write down phone numbers. I use them just to jot down notes. I try to keep, always keep one in my purse. They have such cute designs. Um, so there's those three. It's like a quilt. This one says be bold. And the one in the middle looks kind of floral. And I'm not sure about the other one. It's hard to tell without opening them. Um, oh, which I can. Let me just set you down. And I'll open it really quick here. Okay, so we have a bold, a cute floral one. Now the thing with these two is they're not double-sided. It is just the one side, which isn't really important, but this is cute. Keep it simple. And then the quilt. So those are really cute. I love the designs. Because I'm... I don't know if it's a popular opinion at all, but there would be times when I would go to Dollar Tree and a lot of the stuff would just look really gaudy and really, I think gaudy is the right word. Um, just the designs were not for me. Um, I wouldn't call any of the stuff I saw there cute, honestly. It would just be, I don't know, it just wasn't my style. But this kind of stuff is super, super cute. Um, let me go ahead and open up the other one because I did get another package with different designs. And here are those ones. This one's one of my favorites. The cactuses. So cute. And succulents. And butterflies. And flowers. And you choose your path. Look at how cute these are. I love them. Every single one of them is a very cute style. There's not one where I'm like, eh, I'll give that to somebody else. They did such a good job. So anyhow, that's my eight little notepads. They don't have a ton of paper, but I mean, they're definitely gonna get you through having eight of them. Okay, so after that we have, oh, I did get one of these little books. It was a really cute cover too. Um, and this one's a little bigger. This one I'd be more likely to, you know, flip around like this and take some notes more so than the other notepad. Um, like one I'll keep on my desk so I can take down appointments or whatever that comes up. Scratch paper kind of, but cute scratch paper. And this I couldn't pass up either. I don't have an exact reason other than, you know, they're adorable. And they only had one of certain ones. Like this was the last one of the superheroes and these are all just jumbo playing cards. Minnie Mouse and I think it's Daisy Duck jumbo and then the princesses I'll show you some of these too I'll show you Minnie Mouse since I do have that ripped open oops okay so there's the joker card let me just kind of try and fan them can I fan them out for you not really but so Oh, so there's some that totally don't even have a design on them. But yeah, here are the, the Ace is a mini. Um, I don't know who this is, but there's that one. There's Daisy. Oh, I remember this cat, but I don't know who it is. Mini again. 
So I guess it's probably those four characters on those cards. Oh, here, who's the Jack? Oh, that's, okay. So anyhow, that is that one. And they are a nice big size, as you can tell in my hand. Ugh, there. That's definitely a, a bit bigger than a typical playing card. It makes it, um, I mean, a lot of people would think of kids because of, I don't know, just something easier for them to handle. But it also is for people with, you know, maybe not as great eyesight and they're fun. So I would use these to play cards with my mom. It's going to be a lot easier for her to see and really fun to play Go Fish with designs like that. So anyhow, I had to get all three of those. I got Minnie, the princesses, and the superheroes. I do want to open up the superheroes. Those look really cool. I see Spider-Man and Captain America and the Hulk. Um, so those I really, I'm excited about. However, this isn't like a typical purchase for me, you know. I just saw them and I liked them. And I could even find, you know, DIYs to do with them if I wanted to. But I want to keep them as card sets, I believe. And let's see what else we have. We're coming to an end here. Oh, here was the other stick-ups. So here's the blue ones. And like I said, they are Crisp Breeze. I think I said clean linen or something, but I think it's going to smell very similar to that. So, good deal on those. Um, they're in the aisle with all the other stuff, the glaze, the renews, it's um, back towards the mops and all that. And I think I've heard they're like an always there, you know, they always stock them. These are new to me. I thought these were really cute. And I plan to put these in my bathroom and put my cotton swabs and my ear swabs in them. Or Q-tips, I should say. They're the perfect size. Um, so I got two of those. And another video I watched kind of raved about how great these are. Whether it's putting together ingredients for a recipe, or using for sauces, or creating sauces, mixing them together. Um, or dips. Like if you're just putting barbecue there for some nuggets or something. These she said came in really handy and these are four little glass you know tiny tiny bowls but they'd be perfect for those purposes so I went ahead and grabbed those and there's one more small basket that has a lot more of my DIY type stuff coming here I'm gonna put it right down here okay so these thank goodness I finally found them these are the tiny little apple crates from Dollar Tree um, it says wood crate I was waiting and waiting for these to come back in. I, I went like three times and checked the um, Crafter Square for these. And they had a nice big stock of them on the very bottom shelf. So I grabbed three of these. And the purpose for one for sure is I bought the pallets, the little wooden pallets um, previously. And I saw where people had turned those into coasters. And they used these little apple crates to hold the coasters. So I'll, I'll show an um, example of that when I am finally done with it, but I do have to stain this crate first and then put some shellac over it and the coasters and then it'll be done. But they look super cute. Um, but I'm glad I finally found those to finish that project. And some of these, I don't know. I don't have a huge house. I love to craft and I try to go back and forth in my head. Do I really want this? Where am I gonna hang it? I really do try to spend my money wisely the best I can. Um, but I couldn't put this back. It's a really good sized pumpkin. It'd be perfect on the front door. I have seen some great ideas on how to spruce it up and make it cutesy yourself. It's also super cute just as it is. Um, this is one I wanted to put back, but I just couldn't. I already did do like a whole nother fall haul of DIY type stuff and picked up, you know, some pumpkin type things. So that's why I was kind of eager to try and put that back, but I couldn't do it. This is another one. You know, I'm not a super huge fan of owls, but I've seen some DIYs where people have made these so stinking adorable that I had to try it myself. And they've been using scrapbook paper, Mod Podge, and I, I think he's gonna be super cute. And you know, you can put him on a wooden board and make him a sign or just hang him as is, or you know, lean him up somewhere. He'll be really cute. Now this, these I was pretty excited about. Oh my gosh. Dollar Tree is doing some really cool things lately, I, I gotta say. Like, not only the great designs that I'm, like, obsessed with, but the 
new things they're coming in with. Check this out. Not only is this like a nice wood thing, and this was in the crafter square. I'll show you the tag too. LED unfinished wood light. Now when I saw this, I thought it was a, a you know, like a night light to put on a kid's, you know, um, side table. Because right in there is the light. And right back here, I already pulled out the little strip to let the battery work. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? And then, you know, once it's painted or, you know, just chalk paint or who knows, people do amazing things with these. But the, the idea that they did this, and the backside doesn't have really the design, just a plain rainbow, but I thought this was so cute. And they had a rainbow, a dinosaur, an owl. They had so many designs of this, and I was surprised they had so many. Because um, normally when stuff, here's the owl. Normally when stuff like this comes out in my store, it's just gone. Like within the same day they put it on the shelf. I'll show you the owl on as well. Cute. See, I was thinking after I um, do this guy up, I was going to put him on my tear tray. I think he'd be perfect on the little fall tear, tear tray. But yeah, the little, little light in there. And again, the back side is just plain. And then the detail one on this side. But those were so, so, so neat. And, um, you know, I've watched a lot of hauls on YouTube, and I've never seen any of these, so I think they might be fairly new. But, yeah, they had a lot of designs. I wish I could think of the other ones, but I know for sure a dinosaur. Um, oh, a butterfly. A really cute butterfly. And I had that one in my cart for a while, and I'm like, no. It's cute, but I have nobody to give it to. I don't want to display it anywhere, so had to go. Now this one I have a little nostalgia shelf in my computer room above my computer that has my, my, my little ponies, my Care Bears, my Rainbow Bright, and this would fit in really cute on that shelf if I get it painted up right and I could display it there with those things and it fits in well. Um, and then this guy for, you know, my fall decor and tear tray or something. So I was able to justify these purchases, but you know, the dinosaur and stuff, I had no ideas for so it just didn't make sense for me to purchase it as much as I wanted to. I wanted one of all of them. Now this guy, this is really cute. I love the teal, the contrast with the orange and just says autumn blessings. It's a, a small little square that you could put that on a tear tray as well or just a standalone on a shelf. Um, but I love how it makes it look like it's on planks. Um, and they have this in white too. So instead of the teal, everything was exactly the same except for it was white planks. But I just really like that contrast of the teal and the orange, so I got that color. They had some other designs in these tiny square, you know, signs. Um, they just didn't really speak to me, so this is the only one I got. And I just don't have the room either. Um, and this is one other pumpkin deal I got. Now I had a few others of these from a previous haul. Here, I have them right here where I can show you. Um, and I bought them with the purpose of making more out of them. So this here was also one of these where it has a front and back. It almost looks like a napkin holder. I really don't know the purpose of this. Maybe it's supposed to be a, a vase. What does it say? It says, it doesn't say, it just says decor. But yeah, just, it's not for napkins because that's too narrow. But um, anyhow, this turkey one was just like that and you can see on this side is definitely damaged because I split it apart from it, but if I decorate this side, it's perfectly good to go on something. And then, um, that is why I pur purchased it though, was so that I could tear it apart and use two pieces. Here's the other side that's damaged, but then that's the one that has the detail. So you can see how that would have been the front to that one and then the back. So I, I, I just, I t did some work, very careful work to tear them apart so that I can use them for other purposes instead of this. Now, I will let you know if you plan to do the same thing. These little suckers are built so well. I mean, they are glued really well. Um, it was very, very hard. I'm surprised that I didn't ruin them because, I mean, you could see how far it split down. They were meant to stay together. So if you plan to do the same thing, I'd say, you know, be prepared to possibly be bummed if you do ruin one because it wasn't easy. Um, and then there's this guy. He was actually just on a stand, a little wooden stand. And I yanked him off of that and I sanded this down just so he was a little free um, ghost. He wasn't attached to anything. So I could use him even on the, you know, glue to a corner of a frame or something. 
or, or I did get a um, haunted house. But anyhow, that's just to show what I, I mean, this isn't from this haul, but that's just to show what I plan to do with this guy. As difficult as it was, I'm going to try and pull this apart. And to show you <laughs> what a true crafter I am and how I, you know, like a scrapbook or how they use every last scrap from that, um, from all of those other little stands, I even kept these pieces, sanded them down. Like you could see there where they were attached and I just sanded it down smooth. And this is perfectly usable for something else. So what, I don't know, it's pretty small, but who knows? They're little perfectly usable wood pieces that, you know, so this is the side, it was like that, you know? Or sorry, you couldn't see that, it was just like that. And had another one here and then these attached so anyhow i kept every single piece after i took this part to use for something i don't know what but we'll find something out so anyhow that is plan with this guy he's gonna be torn apart hopefully he makes it in one well one two three four five pieces and i'm able to use all of them what's neat is i'll have one pumpkin that has those cute little designs and one that's just completely flat but i could easily use both of them in some sort of project so, you, you know, I get several things out of one op object, so I love that about it. Now, also in the Crafter Square, they have these um, arrows. And I have one um, previously from another trip that was long and narrow. And I thought it was cute, but this guy, he's a little chubby arrow. Little, short, chubby arrow, and he has a hanger. And I was like, that is really cute. I had to get that. No idea what I'm going to use it for. In fact, my mom gave me this good idea, and she said, you know, you can make that a house, too. And I was like, you are right. That can be a house, too. I could just put some wood filler in those holes, and that could be a little house something or other. So there's so many options. That's why I love Dollar Tree, why I end up going a little crazy, and why I love using them to craft with, and I'm sure why so many other people do, is just the options. And it gets exciting to think of all the things you can do with the wood that they have there and then this so I've gone to Dollar Tree for several seasons and I've never in the Halloween fall season seen these a bag of bones isn't that cool again this is another thing I purchased with no flipping idea what I'm gonna do with them but I had to get them because I don't know if I'll see them again that's one of those things in Dollar Tree when you go in. If you see something even slightly interesting that you might want to use, you have to grab them. Because almost guaranteed the next time you go, they're not going to be there. Especially the seasonal items. I can say that for sure about the little fall pumpkin trucks when I was in there. Fully stocked. I grabbed two of them. Every single time I've been back, nada. They haven't had a single one and I don't think they're getting any more in. So, Same thing with the calendars. Oh, the calendars this year. There were so many cute ones. And they got sold out so fast. I was able to grab those too. I must have gotten there just in time when they were setting stuff like that out. But anyhow, guys, that is my haul today. I, I did not mean for it to be that long. It's almost been 30 minutes. But there were so many great things. And I just had to share, um, encourage you to go out, um, be safe, wear your mask, see what your local Dollar Tree has, social distance, you know, be kind especially to the workers they're having to deal with a lot of people all day especially you know well i won't go there but just be kind <laughs> and um comment below let me know what kinds of things you're finding uh i would love to know what you're finding in your local one that you haven't seen here that was like a must get anyhow take care bye